friends uh, today we shall discuss uh, reading uh, strategies uh, being part of reading strategies we have uh, vocabulary skills that's something which is very essential a good vocabulary is essential for effective reading skills uh, when you have knowledge in understanding uh, that means you are capable of um, making good assessment of the text so it's always important to be able to understand the text that's possible with your basic knowledge so please understand vocabulary enhancement is very very important and you know here we need to recognize the meaning of words as well as guess the meaning from word structure and infer the meaning from the context so three things knowing the meaning of the word and knowing the meaning of the phrases and knowing the meaning from the context this is essential so we need to learn and practice vocabulary very very important so this is something which adds value to our preparation what do you mean by word meaning recognition how would you be able how would you be able to recognize the meanings of the words well word meaning recognition is the first step towards understanding a written message we are supposed to perceive the words and phrases used and recognize the definitions to follow that we read we may find it difficult to understand a message if we do not know the meaning of the words and phrases used and there are certain suggestions here the first thing is the reader should develop appropriate sight of uh, recognizing skills so recognition skills means we need to be you need to recognize that is one of the best skills you can probably recognize a word or phrase in a fraction of a second if you have developed that quality so fractional second means we must not lose the time the reader should be able to quickly recall the meaning of the word and you should not stop reading if uh, you are not able to recall the meaning of certain phrases certain word or phrase you should continue reading till you complete a reasonable portion of the message and you should not immediately consult the dictionary because it will be time consuming and will disrupt the reading flow the reader should be able to guess the meaning of an unfamiliar word or phrase from the contextual clues so when you keep reading usually the paper question paper or something that's going to be helpful for your overall preparation this is what you can understand and guessing the meaning from the word structure is analysis so use of prefixes suffixes word roots give us uh, clues to the meaning of un, un, uh, common words and that way we can understand you can take a look at this prefixes a n l n d i s and uh, meaning is not and uh, by practicing this uh, common prefixes and suffixes what are the prefixes a letter or a group of letters added before the root of the word the base word or the letters or letter single letter may be added at the end of a word so something that gets added before is called prefix and something that uh, you know gets placed after the word is called suffix so this uh, technical idea will be of great importance and it will help us analyzing uh, the contextual clues the context can also give a clue to the meaning of a word what is there in the store for us to understand let's take a look at this the reader needs to look for the contextual signal words examples illustrations and linguistic clues that indirectly help define an unknown word or phrase so these are the primary points which which are to be born in the mind and you must not lose sight of these words so in order to make better progress in understanding the text analysis of the context uh, with the help of clues is very very essential and you have uh, you know some progress here that you can just check your progress next eye reading and visual perception what is meant by this visual perception is a basic requirement for reading effectiveness because we recognize the word through sight yes sometimes people read but their mind works elsewhere they can't recognize the word since the um, ability gets diluted and maybe with lack of practice the farmer lack of farmer knowledge in reading and assessing as well as digesting so certain distractions usually take place during competitive examination attempts that can be overcome by just uh, giving much importance to the words and perceptions perceptions of the feelings or the ideas associated with the words that we imagine when we just read a book for instance when you read a word milk you get uh, an idea of a glass of milk or you know cow that gives milk and born who extracts milk from a cow or a buffalo when you read a word like mountain it gets you know imprinted in the brain that automatically produces an idea how a mountain looks 
so this way we may be able to we you know develop um, and um, um, you know aggravate the chances to get to score good marks so visual perception skills and ability to identify words and phrases these are the things you need to improve what those effective eye reading requires accurate visual perception of words and phrases fast dry fixations and complete elimination of focalization so something that comes in the mind and sometimes something that is very important should be fixed because you don't have time to read again and again we must have to develop this skill a motivated reader is always a fast reader yes see here read in word groups thought units instead of word by word improve accurate visual perception of words and phrases avoid vocalization vocalization is saying words loudly while sub vocalization is saying words silently to oneself both these habits make reading slow they should be avoided and reading should be with fast eye movements so this is what you need to understand from childhood we tend to read loudly sometimes we read we, we read slowly inside like murmuring these things i think uh, are advised to be kept away and uh, avoid a vocalization rapidly recognize word meaning concentrate while reading concentration matters i believe concentration comes with meditation and you are doing well i think students who plan to take examinations such as uh, um, indian air force or navy or any other cds uh, any competitive examination we need uh, desperately this kind of element without concentration and focus it is not possible to gain good uh, you know results and the people don't tell us we always think about reading but firstly we need to reprogram our brain before we make any attempt to get good score in the competitive examinations one thing that is sure friends is uh, reading uh, comprehensions or uh, vocabulary or uh, synonyms antonyms or detection of the errors under this particular english syllabus of indian air force you must be very much you know balanced tranquilized and serene in your mind once you do that you know you just can manage well in the uh, at the toughest times during your examination it's due to the complete pressure that gets built up inside sometimes aspirants who have worked hard still um, you know may get very less marks so that is to be looked at and must be taken care of and must be given much importance so um program yourself and let your brain work well uh, than it usually does and how you can probably rewire your mind is something very essential before you you know start your preparation this is very important next thing is uh, con- concentration yes concentration comes with meditation or concentration comes with interest first your aptitude aptitude means you need to have for the a burning desire yes i must get a very decent uh, top level job in the central government or state government so that's my priority once your priorities are clear your work will better will become better if you don't have any priority maybe it's like throwing stones into the darkness which is of aimless context so no use of doing such things let's take a look at what rapid reading skills actually mean An efficient reader is able to think ahead, hypothesize, hypothesize, and predict. And what is meant by this? You know, these are the basic issues. Prediction includes uh, various micro skills, including the ability to guess the information that the text contains, and uh, use the index or chapter headings to roughly predict the central theme of the text. Yes, usually based on the title, we guess and we become very clear. and use the index or chapter headings scan graphic or non verbal context such as graphs diagrams charts and so forth to predict the nature and scope of content we use this uh, people who are very great at reading and just they just use discourse and linguistic clues linguistic clues are the discourse markers and certain words like this uh, that are not enough idea use discourse and linguistic clues so these are very very important things so based on the adverbs as well as uh, adjectives and certain um, you know communicative tags and markers you will be able to understand the shifts for instance moreover when someone wants to say something he might use moreover why does he use moreover means there may be some information than the than something which has been already presented of the particular theme prediction involves what do you mean by prediction it involves in glancing rapidly through the text we just take a glance you know have take a look at the text 
reading any part of it before reading any part of it in order to familiarize oneself with the subject and uh, guessing the information that the text contains recalling related information analyzing the aids in the text that might make reading faster and easier prediction involves a pre-reading survey of a text so once you look at a person what happens usually so you just try to guess based on the eye movement the way he, one just talks the way one stands walks and projects oneself we easily guess okay this could be the character of this person this is very sh sure and it's very common and that's that becomes certain when we just take a look at a person we don't have to take much time sometimes uh, the language one speaks why would also help us uh, uh, fix the kind of person that we, we are with in the context and accordingly we change uh, and um, and uh, you know s um, switch to different um, uh, things and we don't that depends uh, purely on whether we can continue the communication at the moment or we may just have to end up uh, there that's going to be fixed it's it's all very clear when we just look at a person similarly pre-reading survey this uh, having a glance at the text would would be a would be uh, it would be an asset for the aspirant and the prediction sometimes uh, might be um, a catastrophic event and it's so uh, it might um, leave you you know just uh, devastated and when you ro really don't know how to do that let's take a look at this in order to predict and respond to the content of a text, the reader should run his or uh, her eyes through the text as fast as she can in order to predict the information that the text contains. She should pay particular attention to the heading, subheadings, the first paragraph, the first sentence of each paragraph. I said already, the first sentence, you will find best information in each paragraph, the first one or two sentences would help you. And the topic sentence in each paragraph, here she should also use um, his background information to get an idea about the content of the text and interpret aids in the text that might make reading faster and easier. So we have done the prediction techniques and uh, certain issues regarding best uh, reading strategies. Um, for instance, friends, let's take a few things of this particular topic uh, before we just wind up. Yes, scanning is there. What do you mean by scanning? What do we just uh, find through scanning and why, why do we have to use this technique? Let's take a look at that. Scanning refers to the ability to locate specific information or facts as quickly as possible. So our main concern is to gain marks and the marks should be valid and you know, we need to be ac accurate in giving answers. So we can't waste any time any, any longer. So we have to be careful about that. Here scanning helps us. It comes as a handy uh, device and tool. If you know quite well about the use of the scanning technique and you are going to um, um, you know, get good, a good score. Scanning refers to the ability to locate specific information. How can you do that? Specific point or fact in a text that you need to identify. And uh, relevant graphic details, formula in a, formula in a text, a word in a dictionary, train or television schedules, any references or biographical, or bibliographical listings, examination results, any notes, questions, remarks at the end of the text. We may know how to scan a newspaper or a dictionary, but may do it slowly with less accuracy. What's important is to increase scanning speed with accuracy. The following suggestions will help increase proficiency at scanning. Know what you want to find. In order to scan any reading material, the reader needs to know what he or she wants to find. Yes. In order to know what you want to find, that should start with not from the text reading. You must read the questions first. Read the questions first. Always be very selective. Don't give a chance to the examiner to, to hurt you. Examiner means the one who has set question paper. He has, she has some schemes. They want to filter thousands of people with the best strategies. By implementing those strategies, they want to filter the candidates. So if you become so uh, just like a scapegoat by spending time like how you just do an academic kind of reading comprehension, you are not eligible to be, part, to be an, a, a, at least an aspirant in competitive examinations race. So you must have to think twice. So the best way is always start with questions and you know this, the question is something that directs to our destiny. So what you have to look for in the text will become crystallized. Once it becomes crystallized, you will go ahead with passion. That's going to be successful. And next point, do not read everything. Please keep this point in mind. Very, very important. Don't read any, everything. 
phrases, word groups, thought, and something, something that you just go ahead with. And uh, you know what's concentrate while scanning. See, it's being uh, repeatedly said. So concentration is something that cannot be avoided, cannot be ignored. It's a very important thing. And again, you can check your progress during your leisure time. So what's with the, with the particular con paragraph, uh, passage. The next thing is skim skimming skills. Skimming is a rapid reading technique that prepares the reader for detailed reading. I think uh, we, we just were discussing this aspect in the previous uh, module that uh, skimming involves the three main skills, identifying the central idea, recognizing main ideas, identifying the writing patterns, and uh, the passage or text. It may, see in skimming, you may have to spend time with sophisticated skill than scanning. It refers to the reading a text passage in order to get a rough idea of what the text is all about. It's a rapid reading technique that prepares the reader for details as the main object of skimming is to understand the central idea, points of view. The reader needs to use a, st a reading strategy that involves fast reading and quick analysis. Skimming also involves uh, one thing. Uh, skimming is essential for better understanding. So why is it very essential of a text? Skimming should answer the following questions. What is the overall purpose of the text? What is the central idea or theme? What is the logical organization? Such as general to specific, specific to general, chronological, more important to less important, less important to more important and so on. What does the author intend to do? Describe, instruct, report, narrate, explain, argue, persuade illustrate and so on what are the main points of the text so by just having these things in mind you are going to do your journey fruitfully what are the main points of the text so identifying the central idea later on and uh, will be uh, all together very very uh, you know uh, it's going to be a nice thing and it will help you get the best marks and recognizing main ideas how do you recognize you need to recognize a topic sentence a topic sentence summarizes the paragraph by stating the gist of the idea to be developed in the paragraph. And uh, see, topic sentence, when you read a reading comprehension passage, remember in nutshell points that topic sentence, a sentence that contains the main idea of the paragraph. So that you need to be able to identify. Supporting sentence one, the first sentence supporting and developing the main idea. Uh, the second sentence supporting and developing the main idea. The third sentence supporting and developing the main idea. The fourth sentence supporting and developing the main idea. This way you will be able to organize a paragraph uh, uh, in reading cons uh, passage, comprehension passage, which is uh, systematically and chronologically ordered and uh, managed with. So please identify this way and use these techniques without fail. And well, it's very essential. We, pick, we become always uh, fumbled by, when we look at uh, writing patterns. What are the writing patterns? So definition, description, and sequence of events, uh, generalization, classification, illustration example, cause and effect, comparison, and contrast. Read the following two paragraphs. You can get just to find some information about that. So with these views and the objectives, the writer, in fact, might choose the text to present in his own fashion. But it's always uh, foreign to people who attempt uh, in reading comprehension, just uh, may not be able to be, uh, may not be able to comprehend at the moment, but by applying certain strategies, the foreign subject, uh, I mean, a medical student may be able to understand what uh, is biology, what is geology, but if he, she or he is given a topic from civil engineering, may find it truly difficult, but it doesn't really, uh, you know, impact the overall score if she really focuses on how she can possibly uh, navigate through certain questions and answering the toughest ones. So it's always getting ready. And intensive reading skills, the three rapid reading techniques of prediction, scanning, and skimming prepare the reader for intense to reading. Yes. So relevant and irrelevant information facts and opinions explicit implicit information explicit is outside that's very um, you know that's that's presented very well and implicit is uh, we need to identify the undercurrent meaning from the sentences here context helps that's what we need to understand draw inferences and conclusions so 
this is how we can understand so the reading strategies which would be very much beneficial for us so friends here i'd like to ask you to do one thing um, there are many texts and there are many uh, ways for us uh, material is available abundantly in the market and uh, when you browse through the that you will find a number of uh, topics and i just uh, want to ask you don't keep uh, roaming around or loiter about um for the sake of materials so be specific and uh, uh, stay connected with your preparation um maximize your speed levels always um, only one important uh, uh, best strategy which is uh, applicable for all segments of uh, your examination is selective reading be selective and be uh, systematic and do not get worried about uh, various uh, uh, various um, depths of uh, presentation of uh, reading comprehensions uh, all of them may not be asked in the examination you will have to be very very specific in this connection let me be very clear about uh, narrowing down concept so when you narrow down the questions i mean you will be reading this much and finally you are going to have just this much and that you are going to deal with all these things will be like scaffolding for you they they, they just give you some help to gain some uh, experience that's all so with past bent of mind consistency in practice and uh, uh, ability not to lose uh, focus on uh, the important aspects which help us directly or indirectly uh you know these are the few things that uh, that i think a candidate must possess and with which can be successful today with this being said i think i can take you off it's going to be 8 o'clock and we shall meet in the next session with another new topic uh, good luck and good night stay healthy any questions no Deepika, would you like to ask any questions? So go ahead. Thank you very much. Take care. No.